join me on the couch. I've got a spot for you next to my spiky succulent. Ah. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special delivery Japan crate package. As you can see, it's Christmas themed because they sent it to me around Christmas time and like I've said in the previous videos, I haven't had a chance or a space to be able to do my YouTube videos, but now that I can, I have so much stuff to do. I have had a look, I haven't tried any of them yet, but this is what's inside and I wanted to try all of the goodies with you. I'm a little nervous because I'm a fussy eater. I don't know whether you know that about me, but I like very plain foods <laughs> that don't have much flavor or candy. That's about it. Like my favorite food is like hot chips. I have the, the taste palette of a five-year-old. So this is gonna be interesting. I've been to Japan three times before and I love it. I love Japan so much and the food is one of the main reasons why I love it uh, because I eat ramen every single day. Every day, it's amazing. And their bakery foods are also incredible. I just, I don't know. I feel like their foods are just so good. Japanese candy is my favorite. Whenever a friend goes over, I'm like, please pick me up some candy. So they've just got this little, oh my gosh, they have like Rolakuma stuff. I love Rolakuma. Rolakuma. Cute, cute, cute. Goodbye, I can't eat you. I could, but I shouldn't. Okay, so this looks like popping candy. I think we should start with something savory. Oh no. It has a spicy picture on it. Is there only savory thing, something spicy? What? Kit Kats? But I don't even know, what is that flavor? Is that some sort of nut? Am I stupid? Do we know what that nut is? What are you? Why are you so spiky? Maybe that's what the paper says, what it is, right? Okay, I was, I was too fast to get rid of this. This is helpful. So those Kit Kats are chestnut flavored mini Kit Kats. That's very cool. I don't think I've ever tasted chestnut before. Cheers, the Lord. And then this bad boy is spicy sticks. Oh my God, it's in the name. These are spicy, I'm concerned. Maybe I should leave them to the end. I want to enjoy the rest of the food. This is popping candy, I assume. All of flavored popping candy, yep. So this is all themed for, I guess, a Japanese Christmas. I don't know. I like it so far, other than the spicy stuff. This is a candy ring. I can put that on now. So I don't have to eat it straight away. Ooh, smells good. I do! Oh, darling! Cola flavored. That's, ooh. Yeah, 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 that's really good. Okay, starting off strong with some cola flavored candy. I'll just go back to this as my palette cleanser. I don't know if that's how that works. This looks interesting. I don't know what this is. It is salt flavored chips with extra virgin olive oil. Let's start with these. hard to get into the packaging. Just crisps. Oh. Honestly, they just taste like maybe original crisps. 10 out of 10. I like them. Some sort of pretzels. These ones, smoked cheese pretzels. I don't even know how to open it. Cross Japan, they're so smart. They have such good ways to open packaging. It's all very self-explanatory. Okay, smoked cheese taste. Oh my God, it smells it's really potent. It tastes like shapes, a little bit like pizza shapes or maybe just like the cheese shapes. Yes, yes. I'd say seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. Also, I think I'm a bit hungry, so I think I'm extra enjoying everything because I'm starving. I feel like this this ring's kind of getting in the way, so I'm gonna have a little bit more of it, rate it, and then move on. Mm, it's a really nice color flavor. Like it feels like they haven't skimped out on the flavoring. You know how sometimes you have a chop, chop and you're like, uh, it has essence of color in it. This is full on, hardcore, proper, 100%. Cola. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
10 out of 10. Oh, what are we getting next? This, this is last. That spicy stuff is last. We've done the pretzels. We have a drink. Uh, it has some characters on it. Milky Rich Cafe Latte. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh my God, I've got it everywhere. It's literally, it's, what am I doing? I don't know how to drink. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, I'm making a mess. It's kind of like coffee that, it's definitely coffee. It tastes, uh, it, uh, 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 I don't know. I don't really have coffee very often, so I can't really tell you what it tastes like other than it tastes like coffee. And then you think coffee tastes gross and then you take another sip and you're like, bah. Ooh. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Now that I've taken a couple more sips, I'm gonna say it's a, it's a five out of 10. I wouldn't say I would like, I don't know, whenever you drink coffee from a can, you're a little bit like, mm, like a milk product, mm, a little bit concerning. Um, so that takes it down a little bit, but it's still, it's still drinkable. There's so much in here, can I just say? Like, I'm not gonna be hungry after this. This is cute. This is a, it doesn't tell me. It just calls it puka puka. So it's a lemon. Why does it look like it's a tea thing? Oh, it's not. It's an actual shape of a uh, fish. Mmm. 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 -hmm. It says one fish is equal to two lemons. I don't know how accurate that is. Am I eating two lemons right now? Oh my god, it's so yum. Oh my god. It does taste like lemon tea. It's not just lemons, it's tea. Oh my gosh, this tastes incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God. I will buy a whole packet of these. I want to try different flavors of these. I love these. Yum. What's next? Popping candy. What's the next one? Whoa, this stuff. What? Okay, this is something I have to make. So I'm gonna make that at the end probably. Next we have this one, which is an apple flavored candy. Whoa, it's a scrap. I love them! Oh, oh my gosh. Um, mm. um. <laughs> it's stuck in my teeth! Is that what roll up does? Does it just stick in your teeth? Wait, that's a definite yes. It's literally a fruit roll up, just green apple. I like it. Kind of hard to eat though. I'll say five out of ten. Mm, maybe too hard to eat. Um, um, um. Here's a little candy cane stick with some candies in it. So I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna chocolate flavor. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oops. Oh my God. Oh, I fell in my mouth. Yum. Seven out of 10. I want more. I wanna try these champagne cider gummies. They look very interesting. They look like an ice cube pack. It's, it's very weird. Can you have a toothpick to take them out? Oh, well, no big deal. Tastes like blue. I don't know how to explain it. Not bad. Blue's a good color taste. Hmm, <laughs> on second thought, I don't super love this one, but they're fun to eat. So I'd still say four out of 10. Mm. That's kind of mean. Oh well. Popping candy! I think this is cola flavored popping candy. I'm quite excited. I haven't had popping candy for years and years and years. And so I was a little tight. Whoa, popping candy and then some other stuff in it. Let's go. Oh my God, I'm popping already. <laughs> that is, I'm gonna put all of it in my mouth. Oh, it's in my brain. <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes delicious, but it's really loud. Why did you do this? I can't even talk without it popping. And out of ten, it's so much fun, and it tastes really good. Oh, I had so much. It's still going. Yum, 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 yum. The popping has subsided, and now it's time to try chestnut Kit Kat. Green tea Kit Kats are one of my favorite things and that's one of the things that I ask for when someone goes over there. I'm like, please bring them back for me. 
And these sized Kit Kats are just the best. Oh my, it's kind of pulling apart. I love chestnuts, let's go bitch. Holy shit, it's like white chocolate, but also hazelnutty, also kind of smoky. Definitely tastes like it's been on the fire, like chestnuts on the fire. Cheers, the Lord's dropping on the run the world for you. Mmm, mmm, we Eight out of 10. Green tea Kit Kats are still better though. All right, it's time to do the spice. Like I said before, as a fussy eater, I, I also really, really cannot handle spice. So this will be very interesting. I am so white bitch when it comes to my tolerance for spice. Bon appetit. Oh, it's already started. Oh no, oh no. I feel like it's calming down. Nope, it's still there. It's still there. Let's eat some more. See, the initial taste is so good that it's worth the pain at the end. <laughs> Yum! These are delicious! I don't know why I was worried. Okay, it's a little spicy. It's a, <laughs> it's a little spicy. I'd still say a seven out of 10. Okay, it's getting worse. It's getting spicier. Let's keep going. That's how that works, right? Eat more, less spice. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, I ate too much. Oh, it's really hot. Oh no, it's really hot. Oh my god, oh my god. I need some water, I need some water. Oh my god. Uh. Welcome to my cute little studio kitchen. I have my, oops, I forgot I put water in it already. Clean that up. Idiot. <laughs> Why? It's time to make the experimental slime. So I'm over here and I'm gonna put some water in here. I did, and then I spilled it everywhere. <sighs> And then I'm gonna do it again. So it says 30 mil, let's put 30 mil, and the green packet and stir. Green packet, what? I'm so confused. Add the pink packet to the larger tray with the star symbol. Pour the tray's contents into the larger star tray and mix the contents well. Finish off by adding blue packet and stirring. Watch it change color and become edible soda flavored slime. I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can see. See the mess I'm about to make. So this goes into this one. <laughs> it's fun science. Put this one into this one. Like, whoa, now it's pink. See, this doesn't seem like slime. Am I doing it right? This doesn't feel like slime. Oh, now it's slime. This, you're supposed to be able to eat this. Like, this, what? Edible soda flavored slime. Let's give it a go. It looks like boogers. Like it literally looks, it looks like mucus. It's kind of gross. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, consistency is not nice. The flavor is though. Yum, 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 it's not. <laughs> that tastes like toothpaste, but like off toothpaste. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think it's also the fact that I just finished having a bunch of hot chips, like not hot chips, hot spicy chips and now I'm eating slime. I don't like it. Look at it. It's really, it's really gross. It's just, it's just the feeling. It's, it's, it's very mucusy. Nah, can't do it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that the hot spicy chips were better than that. That's crazy. And we're back on the couch. I had so much fun trying everything from my Japan crate. I would like some more, actually, honestly. I wanna do more of these, so I hope that you liked it because I would really <laughs> like to try more, more candy and food, especially from Japan. I've never tried any of this stuff before and I've been to Japan three times, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think my fussy eating really showed. <laughs> But what can you do when you have a taste palette of a five-year-old? Nothing. Complex foods? Yuck. Plain, tasteless foods? Yes, please. Thank you so much for joining me once again on a fun adventure. This was great. I loved it for something different. I hope you guys did too. I want to do more. I definitely want to do more. 
I want to try different foods. So if you have any other foods that you would like to see me try, pop them in the comments below. And then maybe I'll hustle Japan Crate and maybe they'll send me another one because like, or maybe I'll just sign up. Because it was really fun to do and I also love the idea of going back to Japan. So um, this is like a nice in-between, but it was really fun. Anyways, you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.